All right, welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. And today's video is all about how to overcome anxiety. And I don't mean the deep long-term anxiety. That takes long-term solutions. It takes going really deep inside yourself. This is much more when anxiety flares up, how to deal with it so that you can get through whatever situation you're in or get through the day. Like let's say it happens at work. You can't just stop functioning all the time. So here are five steps to overcoming anxiety flares. The first step is to admit that it's happening. Because when you're in fight or flight mode, basically it's hard to tell what's up, what's down, what's everything just starts spinning around. So first is to be able to say clearly in your own mind and even in your own words, this is happening. I'm dealing with some anxiety right now. There's a lot of power in putting a name to it because you're making the thing clear, I have anxiety. I'm not crazy, I'm experiencing anxiety. So it's saying that this thing is passing through me, I am not this thing. The second step is to get out of your head and into your breath. So start breathing. And for some people who struggle with breathing or they've, it's just like esoteric, then a very simple way to do good breathing work is six seconds in, six to 10 seconds out, so you go, like I had to show you what that looks like, but just for an example. Um, and then what this breathing does is it calms your nervous system, it calms you down, it focuses you. And the fact that you're counting six in, six out, that allows you to focus on one thing instead of freaking out and start panicking about all the many possibilities of why you're dying. Next one is to isolate the anxiety. Figure out where in your body you're experiencing anxiety. For a lot of people it's in the heart or it's in the head or maybe it kind of feels all over but after you're breathing you realize that your emotion is being internalized in a place in your body. And this is the trick is that when you figure out where in the body you're experiencing stress and anxiety, you can then connect it to why it's happening. After you find the location, then you can start to think more rationally of why am I experiencing this, right? It's natural that we worry about certain things, but it's irrational to freak out about it. So to figure out what is the source of my anxiety? Is it because of my environment? Have I been eating well? Am I dehydrated? Is it a physical thing, a chemical thing, a chemical up here thing? Where is this stress originating from? And again, we're peeling back the layers and by this point, you're already starting to figure out what's true and what's not. If you close your eyes, you can say, wow, I'm experiencing stress and anxiety and I'm feeling it somewhere here in my shoulder and I started this anxiety attack by worrying about my grandmother and then that spun around and so you can start to find the root cause of what caused this anxiety flare. And the next thing is to relocate your energy. So if when we store energy, weird things happen. You can get sick, you can you know, go crazy for a little bit. There's a lot of things that can happen. So it, in order to kind of move past this anxiety, you need to move the energy and start circulating things. And breathing calms your nervous system down, but then it's important to start moving and start walking. It starts to clear your head out. For me, uh, you know, when I'm having anxiety attacks, first I need to stop and be extremely still. Keep mentally still, keep spiritually still, and just focus. And as soon as I can figure out really what's true and what's not, am I really dying? Is it really this bad? Or am I just freaking out? Then I can calmly decide what to do next. And that next thing is usually moving my body. And that could be push-ups. And what it's doing is it's keeping things moving. You don't want anything ever to stop flowing in your mind, your body, your spirit. You want everything to start flowing. And when you're moving, that's when you can start to objectify the anxiety flare that you just had and make sense of it. But if you're just trapped in the anxiety, then it seizes up your whole body and then it can take control. So I hope this was helpful. There's a lot more to say, but I'm just going to keep it short. Stay tuned for more videos on how you can reclaim your mind, your heart, your spirit, and your body by becoming mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically in the best shape of your life.